patients coming with ear discharge first children children with ear discharge what happens is when the child catches a cold there is a tube which connects the nose and the ear which is called the eustachian tube that gets blocked or the bacteria travels through it and it infects the ear so what happens is there is infection of the ear and then the tympanic membrane bursts and there will be a small hole and pus starts coming out hi i am janak ram from royal pearl hospital trichy so are you getting a lot of videos in ent then why don't you subscribe to this channel so if you subscribe i'll come directly to you ear discharge very common problem so this is called aom acute auditus media and for this you don't have to worry just meet a ent doctor they'll give some nasal drops tablets and the baby will get cured what you should not do is many parents go to some uh, pharmacies and take some ear drops and they put it inside the ear which should not be done it might aggravate the problem so the first thing what you should do is to come to a ent doctor and it can be easily cured for babies i'll give some tips so when you are giving breast milk for babies don't make the baby lie flat the head should be elevated and after you give milk or whatever you give you have to keep it on the uh, shoulder and tap it's called burping only then sometimes the milk can regurgitate through the nose into the ear and cause a infection now the second variety is called com and in that you will have a tumor like thing called cholestatoma in the ear this is a big problem many people neglect it and in india we see a lot of such cases neglected cases so what happens is this ear you have a tumor called cholestatoma and that erodes it keeps eroding like cancer and it can erode into the brain it can produce brain fever i have seen patients coming with coma this is really a problem so please don't neglect if you have a ear discharge so what we will do as you come is we will first do an audiogram test and there are three bones in the ear malleus incus capes you all know that and in that one bone can be eroded and if it is eroded we might take a ct scan and find out how far this tumor has progressed and once we see that what we do is we do a surgery called mastoidectomy so this surgery is a very safe surgery and we will completely remove the tumor and after the surgery some people actually develop ear discharge for one or two months not to worry we have removed the tumor completely i am going to make a separate video on the surgery for you so that you will know what to do what not to do how to do the surgery and all the stuff but for now i am just telling you one important point don't neglect ear discharge do you like this video if so share this video with your friends like and subscribe this channel thank you